The question is not whether you want to see this movie or not. The question is, do you have a crush on Florence Pugh? The answer is yes. Yes, you do. Hello, what up everybody? I am Snaggletooth and this, this is The Black Widow. The Black Widow is a new MCU movie starring Scarlett Johansson as Natasha Romanoff, The Black Widow. First off, let me say this was the longest goddamn intro I've ever seen in an MCU movie. And this movie would have been great if it came out in 2016, right after Civil War, but it didn't. I mean, what are the risks here? We already know she's not gonna die. She has to die in the last movie. So now we have to watch a whole movie of her not dying, I guess. Actually, that's not even the problem with this movie. The problem with this movie is not that she's gonna die later on in another movie. The problem with this movie is that it was kind of boring. I feel like this is the movie that no one wanted to do but they had to do it. It was like one of those projects, one of those school projects, so they half asked it. And that's a shame because Black Widow has the potential to be one of the greatest female heroes, nay, one of the greatest heroes, period, that have come out of MCU. But they're just like, hey, let's let's phone this one in. Let's focus on Loki. That's where the rent is going, to the Loki movie. First off, when this movie starts, we start off as Natasha as a child. She's living in Ohio with this family. She has a little sister, a mom and a dad, and everything's so cute and precious. Turns out this family is not her family. Turns out this family is a bunch of spies from Mother Russia. One of the spies is actually, the father figure is actually a superhero. He's actually Captain America's Russian counterpart, the Red Guardian. This family, this set of family, this set of spies is not here to do good. No, they're here to steal some information from Hydra slash S.H.I.E.L.D. because back then Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D. were still a thing and get out and go back to Mother Russia. And that's pretty much what they do. They all load up into a plane. There's a high speed chase on the airplane runway and they make it, they fly off together. When they arrive in Cuba, Natasha and her little sister, her little sister are taken back and placed inside the Red Room. The Red Room is this training area where they train all the Black Widows. There's not just one Black Widow, there's many. And when Natasha escaped back in the day, she destroyed the Red Room and she thought she killed the leader of the Red Room and ended the program. So no more her, no more Black Widows. The series is done. Unfortunately, she didn't get the job done. The creator of the Red Room is still around and he has taken a new leaf on things. In order to stop another Natasha from going rogue and going against the Black Widow program, the leader, Drakov, I believe his name is, he actually uses mind control now, which is what the research that they stole was for. It was for mind control. So now Natasha has to reunite with this family she had back in Ohio, back in the day, in order to take this guy down. Pros and cons of this movie, pro. Natasha was amazing. Florence Pugh was amazing. All the actors and actresses were amazing in this movie. They, they did a good job with what, the, with, with what the script gave them. They did a great job. All the action scenes are good. All the cool little gadgets and stuff and, 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 and costumes are phenomenal. For the cons, whew, I don't, I have so many. It's gonna take all day. The number one thing is I noticed is Taskmaster sucked in this movie. I didn't like him. I didn't I didn't like him one bit. Of course, revealed at the end, Taskmaster is a female. That was cool. I like that. I didn't care that this character was female. I didn't care at all. I cared about that the character actually sucked. If you look at Taskmaster in any media, he's like this angry, arrogant, cocky bastard. You know what I mean? He's like, he, he talks a lot of shit. And that's why he's a fan favorite. He, he has this really bad attitude. And people love to see him getting taken down a notch. But in this movie, she had no personality. She was just basically a Terminator robot. Even Terminator actually had more personality than she did. How many lines did she have? Like three? She was just like, thank you at the end. And that was it. It's garbage. And the second thing about this movie is that it was just too goddamn long. It took like 30 or 40 minutes to actually get into the plot. Seriously, time it. Pull up your watch and time it. See how long it takes you to get inside the plot. It takes forever. Ugh. Which wouldn't be a problem if this movie was interesting, but it's not. It's not interesting. It's not at all. Boring. It's a boring movie. Do not pay $30 for this movie. Do not pay $30 for a movie. You'll be wasting your money. I encourage you to watch it with a friend. Go to the movies if you have free tickets. Go to your friend's house if they bought this movie and watch it with them. It's not worth your money. We live in a world where The Winter Soldier was a better spy movie 
then Black Widow, which, which, oh, I can't even think of a good analogy. That's how mad I am. Oh, God. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Tell me what you guys think about the Black Winter, the Black Winter. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Tell me, what did you guys think about The Black Widow? Comment in the section below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know what you're thinking. Please like, please subscribe, and smash that bell icon in the corner there below. This is your boy Snaggletooth. I'm out.